during the construction, um, the fifth floor was designed to be on its own separate um, air handler unit. And the air handler unit supplies fresh conditioned air to the fifth floor of the Ace Barber floor. As part of the pandemic preparedness, uh, BHB requested that we configure new isolation rooms on the Ace Barber ward. What we did is we actually uh, com uh, programmed all of the rooms through a billing automation system and we were able to actually create a negative air pressure, about 30% 30 extra of suction uh, to make sure that the rooms are not contaminated and that the contaminants are actually not entering the, uh, the patient's sterile space. The entire building is wired to a building automation system which consists of a network. Uh, it goes back to a central computer and that computer can then be used to program with software any changes that we wish to make or programming configurations which are integrated with the mechanical system. Essentially there are diffusers in the ceiling space of the wards. One of them is a return or exhaust grill, the other one is a supply air grill. And by making changes to the building automation system we're able to actually remove more air from the room that we're putting in and that creates that negative pressure differential. What that does is it prevents uh, airborne contaminants from exiting the room and they're, they're kept inside the, the infected area so that people in the sterile space are not exposed to, the, to any uh, uh, viruses or infection. Through the building management system, we do have the capability for the air on this floor to transfer around the entire acute care wing. However, with various dampers, what we can do is isolate this floor completely so that this floor is only supplied by one air handler unit. Uh, and then any of the air that's in, for instance, the negative pressure rooms, gets exhausted straight outside.